Hello? I know this is an awkward hour, but can you let me in? I would like to visit one of the patients. We do not allow anyone in at this time, I'm sorry. You will have to come during regular visiting hours. Tomorrow will be too late. Please, let me in and I'll explain everything. Oh, are you a doctor? No, I'm not. Who have you come to visit then, in the middle of the night? I've come because of Robert Gordon. He is the director here. Yes, I happen to know who's director here, Mr... Samuel Gordon. I I'm sorry, I forgot to introduce myself. Very well then. I'll make an exception, Mr. Gordon. Push the gate open when you hear the buzzer and go straight to the main entrance. I will be expecting you in the lobby. Thank you. Thank you for letting me in. Well, I would not have let you in if you weren't a relative of the head doctor. Yes. Actually, he is what I'm here about. You see, he hasn't shown up for a couple of days now, and I was hoping you might know something. I'm afraid I will have to disappoint you then. He left the sanatorium the day before yesterday, late at night, and has not turned up again since. Are you sure? Of course. I have been on duty every day. What time did he leave? Around midnight, I believe. He always leaves quite late. He has had a lot of work to do lately. Did he mention where he was going, or say anything unusual? Hmm. Give me a minute. No, no, I don't recall him saying anything special. In fact, he was very tired. Just said goodnight and left. I would like to visit a patient named James. Can you show me to his cell? No, that's not possible, Mr. Gordon. Can't you let me in? Unfortunately, you will not be able to visit him, no matter what I could or could not do. I don't understand. Don't you know? James escaped the night before yesterday. I thought someone had told you. No, I didn't know. How did he escape? He must have gotten into the sewer system under the building. It should have occurred to me that he might do something like this. Why? Did he say something to you? Yes, I spoke to him the day before. He seemed much more anxious than usual. But there was more to it. I don't know if I can tell you. It is a delicate situation. Please speak. It might be important. Maybe it will shed some light on the whole matter with Robert. Do you think it may be related? I don't have a clue. Please tell me what you know. All right. James was more anxious than usual, as I said. It was hard to understand what he was trying to tell me. But it was the head doctor that he was speaking about. He said he knew something important, but he could not tell anyone what it was. Did he say what it was exactly? No. It seemed to me that he was afraid to talk. He kept asking me to put in a word for him with one of the doctors so he could go home. But he insisted that I not mention it to the head doctor. He acted quite desperate, so I promised I would help him. What happened then? Well, James does tend to be very moody, but I would not say that he is dangerous. I have known him for years now, and most of the time he has made very little trouble. So I went to the head doctor to ask him for a temporary leave permit for James. But you said he didn't want Robert to know. I had to promise that. But without the signature of the head doctor, no patient can leave this place. He didn't agree though, and defended his opinion quite firmly. It seemed rather strange to me. Such rigidity, I mean. Did you speak with James after that? No, I didn't want to further disconcert him. And the next day, he escaped. I cannot tell you anything more. I have no idea why he wanted to go back home so suddenly. You have been quite helpful. Thank you. Why would James want to get away so desperately and suddenly? And why didn't Robert allow him to return to the castle? It seems to me that these things are related somehow. That's all. 
Thanks. Terrible weather. A sewer may be the main output of the ventilation system of the building. A few beer bottles, old containers and rusty cans. Just rubbish. A syringe. Looks quite clean. A few bottles of beer. The labels are not very damp. The bottles haven't been out long. I'll have a look. This must be the thermostat regulating the temperature of the ventilation. Hmm. I can't see any controls on it. The middle rod seems to be loose. Maybe I could pull it out somehow. Who the hell is that? Nurse, is that you again? I'm heating the place like I'm supposed to. Not one of those crackpots of yours is freezing. Don't you worry. The boiler is running full blast, so leave me alone. This is Samuel Gordon. Can you open the door? Who? I'd just like to ask you about something. Yeah? What do you want from me? My Uncle Robert runs this institution. Can you let me in? I couldn't care less about who's running this booby hatch. I don't belong to the Doctor Bunch, and I don't have to obey old Gordon. Give me a break, and mind your own business. All right, but I just need to find something out. Then I'll be gone. Oh well, okay, what do you want? It seems to be quite hot inside. Are you heating at full power? There's no other way when the weather's like this. I'll sit here the whole day and night in this awful heat. Well, you can turn it down a little, can't you? Impossible. They've just installed this new regulator. It takes care of maintaining the rock temperature for itself. If it could also do the shoveling for me, I'd have one less thing to worry about. So, why don't you just leave the door open? Well, that's another problem. I don't want the nurse checking up on me. She comes by to have a peek inside here from time to time to see whether I'm asleep or something. When the door is closed, I can cool myself down with beer whenever I want. I see. Have you seen Dr. Gordon recently? No, I haven't. I'm closed. Nobody ever comes around here anyway, except the head nurse. I last saw him about a month or so ago. Yeah, last month. It was Thursday, I think. No, not after that. But you said you were his nephew, didn't you? Yes, I did. Well, then it's you who should know where he is. What do you know about the runaway patient? There was a lot of confusion about his escape here. Having a clue why they made so much fuss over one silly loony. That loony is a member of my family. He may be disturbed, but he's no fool. Oh, I'm sorry. How could I know that you were related? Now, why I asked. You know this place well, right? Sure. I've worked here for some years now. If you wanted to get outside, how would you do it? Listen, these are some odd questions, you know. Aren't you an inspector or something like that? You think inspections are carried out at midnight? So how does one escape out of a locked cell? Well, I have no idea why you're interested in this. But I don't think there's a simple way out. 
Maybe from the hole. Into the sewers under the building. Other than that, I don't know. If you manage to get that far, the rest wouldn't be a problem. The sewer has several openings that nobody's watching. Why are you asking anyway? I'm just considering all the alternatives. Right. I have to see the cell from the inside. If it's impossible to get out, as everyone says, how could James have escaped without someone having helped him? But who could have helped him? That nurse, maybe. Or Robert himself. Robert's disappearance is surely connected with James somehow. I see you have a decent supply of beer. What if the head nurse saw those bottles? <clears throat> no big deal. You can see them outside. As long as she doesn't catch me with one in my hands, she has nothing to complain about. I won't be keeping you any longer. Good. <laughs>